we are going to be learning how to make my Amo Bijan's famous torchy. I like to call it half to Bijan. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. We're making Iranian torshi today. That's basically like the Persian version of kimchi or fermented vegetables. And it's actually a very therapeutic dish to make. I'm so glad that I got to have this wonderful day to learn how to make torshi with my Amu Bijan. I have made torshi before but I had never made Torshi the way that my Amu Bijan does. So I'm so happy that he was willing to share his secrets with us. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So as you can see, we've washed, we've dried, and we have chopped. And this video will serve as a really good visual guide for you to know kind of what size you want to chop your veggies to. And some of the tips... Amu Bijan said, definitely do not chop your vegetables with a food processor. We even attempted to just, just to see if maybe we could change his mind. But he said, nope, I stand by my original point that you cannot control the size and the aesthetics and it will become mushy. So we followed his lead and now I'm adding vinegar and distilled water. This is what Amu Bijan calls the juice for the torshi. After it comes to boil, we start adding our vegetables. We take it out as soon as yeah. it's getting mushy. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we take the eggplant out, we throw the rest of the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Cut them, we put throw them there. By the ranking, which one? We boiled eggplants first, then we moved on to carrots and cauliflower and celery cucumbers so basically the more firm and dense vegetables first and then added the ones that were slightly softer last and we did not want any of them to become mushy we just it's more I think for like the sterilization and then also this speeds up <laughs> lunch time had to get a shot of my dad's cooking beautiful mm -hmm. Looks good. I need to already. feel it, maybe, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's still firm. Well, it's gonna be good. It's yeah. a little crunchy, it doesn't have Yeah, they yeah, no, I love the crunch. They already it's been... not mushy, it's just nice. Well, they be good, but crunchy. Yeah. I'm like a crunchy too. Yeah. Yes, Mama. So if you have two really big pots, you don't even need to do it. And steps, we you were just. Pot. We needed that big pot, Baba. Remember that big, big? Yeah, did he lose it? What happened? Yeah, somebody crossed it. Somebody needed it and never got it back. Yeah. Maybe it's at the masjid. That's After right. it goes a little. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is just like you So don't this. Know. You don't have to this do liquid that. here is like all the flavors of all the vegetables. We're going to add the herbs and spices. Everything. Oh, this is like the juice. And then I'll show you how to do it. Once it's over, mm -hmm. you're going to layer it. Line up the stems and you layer it. And put the layers and fill it up. I just want to make sure we have enough. You know, you know? Okay. We have enough to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. To finish what I was saying earlier about why we give it a little boiling is I believe for sterilization and then also this is Amu Bijan's way of speeding up the fermenting process. So I think the real way in Iran, as he was telling me, when people do it once a year to last them the whole year, they let their veggies completely dry. They maybe would even like put them out in the sun to like completely dry completely and then they don't do the boiling step they would just add their vinegar I don't even think that they would water it down it would just be the vinegar and you know all the flavors that go in the vinegar and it would actually ferment and if I remember correctly it's been years that's how I originally made torshi look at that so this is the 
vinegar, water mixture with all of the herbs and spices, salt and pepper. Yes, yes. You should put it, put it in front of this one. Also. I thought that this wasn't going to be enough to fill them up, but you're right because it's full of vegetables. Yeah, because you wouldn't have room to go sink down there. Why you gotta learn with the professional, otherwise. What should we do? How much? A lot of sugar, huh? That's good. That's, That's good. good. Because we're like... Too much? A little mm, too much? Yes, too much. You know yeah. why? Because... Okay. Just added some sugar. Mm -hmm. So how do I... Now that we added the sugar to this, how do I add it to those? Uh, they're going to sink. And then we'll if add just more. just shake them a little bit, that, that thing is going to be this much. Room. Okay. Okay. We forgot to add a little bit of sugar to this, so yeah, it's not too late. Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. You never late. You even said two days later we'll open it and yeah, two days after that do some stuff. We're gonna allow the torsi to rest for two days. After two days, open up the lids and you will notice that the veggies have absorbed a lot of the liquid. So you're gonna want to top them all off, kind of like I'm doing here. And then you can give them another four days of rest. Go ahead and pop them in the fridge after that. And they're going to be ready to be enjoyed within a day or two. So it's like Torshi in a week. This is my favorite Torshi in America. But of course, I do have a favorite Torshi in Iran. And that is my mother-in-law's. It is a more traditional recipe. So I hope that I can record that for you guys someday when I'm visiting back home. Let me know if you guys give this recipe a shot. If you've ever had Torshi before. Take care and see you guys next week.